love so it's your girl april back today with my monthly favorites this one is a little bit different um i'm going to throw in just one of those cheapskate hauls that probably can help your closet a little bit better but for the meantime in between time I'm going to start off with my monthly favorites and the first one which is my monthly favorite of all time um, one of them is um, curl kit I did get two packages from them this month and the first one was a sneak peek so if you guys love like great hair care products curly hair straight hair natural hair permed relaxed hair this curl kit or this box this monthly subscription box is definitely a must-have this is one of my favorite monthly boxes out of all the boxes that I get simply because everything in that box that I get I use on a regular daily basis this sneak peek was for the cream of nature and this is their pure luscious co-wash conditioner um this is the cleansing conditioner so it's in like this huge pump bottle it is a full size of course and this gently cleans and cleanses and removes any type of product buildup and it leaves it with an exotic shine so for someone like me who loves to use hairspray i am like a religious user of Aussie Instant Freeze in the aerosol can hairspray. I do hairspray the heck out of my favorite units that I wear all the time. Just like this one here that is two years old, two and a half years old. So this stuff here will cleanse it. And it's also good for natural hair too. I also find that this also moisturizes your hair. Month of Cream of Nature. And I'm just going to call it the month of Cream of Nature because the items that I got in here were basically all cream of nature which is their new eating products so your box does come in this cute box here which i don't keep because i have enough stuff in my house but i do like the fact that they come very well packaged and it just looks so professional so the first thing that i noticed which i'm very fond of is bonnets and i did have one and i do have one which is a little bit small this is a larger size bonnet by tiffany and these are great because they're satin um constructed so your hair is not breaking off on the pillow or what have you or your weave ain't breaking off but this is a really large size bonnet so this is in the month of um october's bonnets or box rather and i like this size bonnet because sometimes i don't want to take off my wig um especially if i have it braided down so with a big bonnet like this i don't have to worry about any of my hair being exposed in or out of the shower or sleeping so I do like this bonnet and I was basically waiting to wear it um, because I wanted to show it to you guys first so I will be putting this one on tonight I like the fact that it's an extra large bonnet so it does come with that always comes with a magazine which I love because it tells you how to use the products what the product is about as well as coupon codes and just what people do to care for their hair so cream of nature's eating products so last night i got to use one of their products which is the hydrating conditioner and i used this in a unit for one of my clients which was a curly peruvian unit this hair was kind of tangly and what have you and once i put this in it it gave it so much life it was soft the scent of it is amazing it's amazing it's a coconut scent and olive oil but the texture of it the actual hydration of it the way it made the hair turn out was just beautiful i did um use some cream of nature curling cream on the hair once it was finished meaning conditioned and dampened and rinsed i used that on the wet hair as well and this was that was like i said another cream of nature product so i love the fact that with curl kit you do get full size products this one also is their leave-in conditioner, which is great. I think these are awesome for like curly hair or wavy hair because we like to keep them moist, hydrated, not looking dried out. So this brings like your curls back to life and hydrates your hair. To me, that's my opinion on them. Um, other people use them for different scenarios or different things, but I do like leave-in conditioners especially when it comes to any type of curly hair last one is their hydrating shampoo which i don't really use a lot of shampoo however i will use shampoo if i do have like a lot of product buildup like i said hairspray gels and things of that nature that's when i'll use the shampoo i'll post the information for you guys below so that you can check them out Pro kit is one of the best monthly subscription boxes there is sea charm 
So BoxyCharm is like my holy grail. I so look forward to this box every month next to my curl kit because this comes with loads of like facial products, makeup products, and it's like 21 bucks a month and you get like a array of cosmetics which equal out to be more than the $20 threshold that you pay. This month for October is Faces of the Moon. This Gilt Nail Polish on my toes which it's a dark season now meaning it's fall and a lot of my nail polishes come from BoxyCharm because I don't buy nail polish because I really don't do my nails so much. So this one right here is a great color because I do like dark colors the most and if it's not a dark color it has to be something very neutral on my fingertips. So this is by um, Cult. Excuse me, I said Gilt, but this is by Cult and this nail polish ranges for $12. Mascara which is by Dose Punk Volum Volumizer Mascara, which runs for $24. I'm a huge mascara freak. Even though I wear individuals, I do coat my lashes even if they're individuals. So the one thing that I thought was really different was the actual packaging. It's really huge, but when it comes to mascara, I'm very picky. My brush has to be, my mascara brush has to be like super big because I'm not trying to sit there all day. Now, for one, this is the big biggest daggone mascara brush that I have ever owned. Now if you see the bristles, this brush is huge, which means that I am going to get some nice coating of mascara. I will tell you this much, it is worth the $24 because the bristles are like huge and you don't have to coat so much, but to me, you're going to get a really, really pretty look with this mascara. It's the Bella Pierre Cheek and Lip Pomade and this is a $19.99 value. It's a cheek and lip, lip stain, excuse me. And this color here is Coral. So it's more or less like a peachy color. Um, you can wear these colors in fall as well. I like pinks and peaches year round. I'm really not like geared to, oh, I got to wear it to the season or what have you. I'm not really sure if I will put this on my cheeks because to me it's a little bit harder to blend it in on cheeks with a cream blush. So I would rather probably use this on my lips. The Lord and Berry Line Shade which is an eyeliner and shadow pencil in a dark black. This one is a very black color, a very black color, which is gorgeous for your eyes. Like seriously, it's a soft cold pencil. It's not dragging and pulling and tugging on your eyelids, but it's a really cute, discreet packaging, but it gets the job done and it's very, very black. So a lot of eyeliners to me are not as black, but this is a very dark black. Plus, it doesn't tug on your eyelids. The Rejuvenating Antioxidant Antioxidant Mask, and this is by Palmetto, and it is a $64 value. So like I said, you don't have to spend more than $21, bucks, and your items just go past the threshold. So basically, this is just a rejuvenating mask. I love stuff like this because, of course, we wear makeup all week, some of us, and it's nice to be able to really cleanse our faces and get all those pore, dirt, dirt out of the pores. So this is something that I would use, ooh, like, probably like four times out of the week. You can leave this. It says, um, leave it on for 15 to 30 minutes. And then to remove the mask, use a warm, damp cloth and wipe with circular motions. So this is something that I would use like three to four times a week because I'm the type of person I like to use um, Noxzema every day when I wash my face and it gives my face like this great, pure, clean look. But I do like to use a mask because it overcleans my face and I have like that baby bottom face that's super soft and I just like masks because it makes me feel really, really girly and so forth. So I will be giving this a try tonight for sure. Scentbird. So if you guys are very familiar with perfumes, and I'm pretty sure you girls love the smell good, then Scentbird is a monthly subscription, which I think is $20, and you get a small bottle of perfume, which is a travel size, of a, basically a good brand perfume. 
um, not a knockoff, but a real brand perfume. Something that you would find like at Macy's or Dillard's or something like that. This is Scentbird. So you get to choose what kind of scents you want. It's a monthly subscription. And they come in these cute little travel size perfume things. So for this month, it's Aqualina. I think that's how you pronounce it, Aqualina. And this is Pink Sugar Central. And all you need to do, the first thing, let me tell you. The first time I got this is I kept pulling at it, pulling at it. Like bars are not opening. But all you need to do is basically twist it, there goes your bottle, and you spritz it on. If you want to refill it, you can just pull it out and just take off the top and spray, and unscrew the top. There you have it. And spray one of your favorite perfumes in it. The perfume does smell good. I like soft scents. I don't like anything too strong and masculine. I don't like unisex perfumes. I like soft scents. I like a lot of florals and fruity scents. But more importantly, I like a lot of floral scents. This one here has sugarcane, vanilla, tangerine, black currant, and sandalwood in it. Sandalwood is a great scent to have. That is like... I've had um, body oils that are just straight sandalwood and they smell heavenly. So this one here is very light scent and it kind of reminds me of going on like an oil. But this one right here is a really great scent. Post their information for you guys below. If you're on the go, you want to smell good all the time. I've seen a lot of women who carry their perfume bottles in the cars or in their purses. Then try Scentbird. You can get these cute little carry-on cases or carry cases with you. It also comes in a velvet case so that way if it does end up spilling, it's not spilling into your bag the last the last item for one of my favorites and it's not it's not my monthly favorite but it is one of my favorites because I like to stay organized a lot and I have this well to me it's huge but to some it might not be because my last closet was like this wide um yeah like this wide so this closet I walk into it and I have like so much space so using these really helped me a lot with on saving on space these are the original tote hangers so I do have like loads of purses that sit on the top shelves of my closet I'm never taking those down because I really don't think that I would want to hang my purses in the closet that's just taking up spaces so I like them where they're at however I do use these for other purposes so with these little tote hangers they come in handy what I do is I hang them and I'll put belts on them or I'll hang them and I'll put several shirts or a pair of pants on them so that way it gives me more closet space you can hang your purses on this this is organize your handbags by hanging them in your closet so if you have a closet like unlike mine's where you don't have shelves on the top then these are really great for that but if you don't or you do but you don't want to hang your purses up, I think these are great for just hanging them and putting like your belts or like stacking other items like other hangers, like several shirts on this. It gives you a little bit more space. So I do like these. These are really super duper affordable. And these are from the totehanger.com and I'll post this information below. You can also pick these up at the container store as well. So that is my um, video for this month of October. And as always, stay diva and divolicious. And I'll post all the information for you ladies and guys below. And as always, I'll see you on my next video.